a is do the multiple choice question from Connect number six. It's not particularly difficult, the actual doing it. It's the reading it through and going, oh, what do they mean here? So, first 2019 spot rate was US $1 to Canadian 1.02. Avery Corporation ordered equipment so didn't purchase so that means we're assuming it was a contract because it wasn't purchased don't you guys on the exam um the exams uh, if it's confusing um because you will notice slight inconsistencies in some of the wording um, I will tell you, like on the front page of the exam, under the instructions, you know, on this question, make sure you do this. Okay, if I don't say anything, then it should be clear. Okay, contract not purchased, so don't record. is the whole crux of this question. Um, USD 250 delivery was scheduled for the month of September, payment in full and delivery. Notice again, placing the order, not making the purchase. They entered into forward contract with its bank. Equipment was received, spot rate was this. Assume the transaction was not hedged, okay? So all we're dealing with is the purchase order. Following is the cost of the equipment in the September 30th, 2019 financial statements. So this is after settlement. So all we care about is the equipment. So a forward contract in this question doesn't even really make a difference. Let's draw out our little chart or our little drawing. Here's Avery. Here's the USA supplier. And Avery is us. We are going to get equipment and we are going to give them USD $250,000. And we do an entry for the equipment. So that's the question. When do we do? Entry for not on August 1st, only on September 15th. There's a difference between these two. Because equipment is a non-monetary asset, it doesn't change. So on August 1st, if we had done the entry on August 1st, we would use the spot rate on August 1st. But since we're doing it on September 15th, we use the spot rate on September 15th. So if you notice, there are two different numbers, 1.02 and 0 0.99. These will give two different answers, so you have to know when you recorded it. So we didn't record it here, we did record it here. So. The entry itself is easy, September 15th, we debited equipment and credited cash. And that's 250,000 times 0.99. 
looking back up here, 0.99 is 247,500 is indeed our answer up here. So you want to be really careful doesn't get adjusted. So it matters whether we record on August 1st or on September 15th. So be careful with that. We are doing it here. That was short and sweet. Hopefully that makes sense. If you have questions, um, please let me know. The important thing you guys remember in this chapter is that we are trying to reduce risk to the company and uncertainty is the thing that gives us risk. So it doesn't so much matter that there are different numbers here. It's just in between there. If we record it here, there's a whole bunch of gains or losses we're gonna to have to record on the accounts payable before we get here. So it does sort itself out from a perspective of the entire financial statement. However, from the equipment T account, it is different. Okay, that's what I wanted to do with that one. It's a little bit of an oddity, so I wanted to explain it to you. I hope that helped. And uh, that's your quick little video for that. Okay, see you in class on Wednesday.